University Credit Union, local to Utah, loyal to you. Hello, and welcome back to the show. You are just in time for a small talk brought to you by University Federal Credit Union about Clearwater Homes. Yes, Micah Peters, home builder, does amazing things. But before we go to that, we're going to talk a little bit about University Credit Union because they're super cool. Very similar to the way that they did with the Bagel Project and Penny Ann's. They got behind them because they don't just crunch the numbers. They look at the potential mm -hmm. and they decide this is something that we really think is a risk worth taking. Yeah. And so University Federal Credit Union really gets behind local businesses and so do we. And yep. we like to highlight them in a segment we call Small Talk and this one right here called Clearwater Homes. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Hey everybody, welcome to Small Talk. Today we are downtown Salt Lake City at Clearwater Homes and we are joined by Micah Peters. Micah, thank you so much for letting us swing by. Thank you, Holly. I appreciate <laughs> you guys coming. So, I know you have a lot of passion projects that are happening right now and that you've done and you love downtown. But before we get to that, I want you to go back in time a little bit and tell me how you got your start into home building. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, in 2004, I uh, started working for large publicly traded home builders like DR Horton and um, MDC Holdings. And um, after about a decade as a senior executive for those publicly traded construction companies, uh, I started my own company, uh, Clearwater Homes, uh, at the beginning of 2012. Okay, so did you always know you wanted to be a builder? Was that a passion of yours from like being a child or how did you happen into that? You know, um, I was always around construction. My mom's um, an architect and a builder as well. And uh, so I just really had a passion for architecture and design and I uh, just kind of fell into it really. And what brought you to Utah? So I was born here mm -hmm. uh, in Salt Lake City moved away uh, and then came back in high school. And so it just, uh, it's really my home, Salt Lake City. So mom and dad, everybody's here. Absolutely, yep. Very good. And so um, starting your own business in 2012, I know that it was a little bit of a tough time. Absolutely, it was the, uh, really the, the dregs of the Great Recession. And uh, uh, clearly the real estate market was, was in trouble. A lot mm -hmm. of people were kind of running for the hills. Um, our strategy when we started the company was that we really wanted to have you know, two divisions, uh, a downtown Salt Lake City division uh, as well as a, as a single family division. Um, we really felt strongly that the public transportation infrastructure in Salt Lake City was perhaps you know, 15 to 20 years ahead of its time mm -hmm. and that the uh, residential infill around that uh, public transportation infrastructure wasn't, wasn't there but, but there was a fabulous opportunity. Uh, so. Um, you know, with that in mind, we, we just proceeded to uh, purchase assets mm -hmm. at the end of the recession uh, in downtown Salt Lake City. And you have one project in particular that you took over, and I, I read an article about you in Downtown Magazine, and you had a quote that I absolutely love because I think it is probably, like, encompasses what all small business owners feel. You said it's selling a, a condo or a complex is like public nudity, and I so know what it's like to put your heart out there and then just wait and see if it gets stomped on or if people buy. Yeah. Tell me about that whole experience. Yeah, well, you know, the intention of that comment was that you do these developments and, uh, you know, they take, you know, three, four years to, to really materialize. And along the way, um, every day you're making all these small design decisions. Mm -hmm. And those design decisions are, you know, very subjective about your own taste or the taste of your team. Mm -hmm. So when you finally do come to market, you're really hoping that the culmination of all those decisions has created a product that is that is just really desirable. Uh -huh. And so, uh, at, you know, at Clearwater Homes, design is, is really the central theme to what we do. We really love this modern, luxury, industrial, you know, kind of multifamily living in downtown Salt Lake City. And that is typified by really high volume spaces with tall ceilings, lots of windows, mm -hmm. and, and very organic, you know, sustainable materials. Um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 you know development's really challenging. You have a long time until you have these monetary events, but uh, when it really comes together, you know, uh, driving past your own developments with with your kids, it's something you can be really proud of. Feels pretty good. Yeah. So, what advice would you give to people who are coming up either in this industry or in general have a dream of owning their own thing? What would you tell them? Well, uh, you know, entrepreneurialism is uh, you know it's its own 
uh, real it's category. It's an animal, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty much. And uh, you know, I think that it starts with finding something that you're super passionate about, mm -hmm. you know, and you're very interested in. Uh, you know, in development, I learn something new every day, and uh, we're doing a project around the corner here, for example, um, called Paragon Station, and it's an adaptive reuse project of a 70, 73,000 square foot uh, warehouse that was built in 1918. Ooh. And so the physical constraints of the existing structure, we're having to interface with them every day while we're integrating it into a condominium project. And oh. so, you know, you're making decisions and trying to figure stuff out, and it's, it's intellectually very, very challenging every day. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, but, it's, but it's also very satisfying and very fun. But uh, yeah, I, I guess I would just say, you know, if you want to be an entrepreneur and, and start your own company, find something you're super passionate about and be very decisive in your process. Mm -hmm. Don't linger in this place of ambiguity that wastes time and really becomes an energy block for your, uh, your motivation and your passion for that industry. Trust your gut. Yeah. Going out on your own at that point, how did you find a lender? Right. What was that process like? Yeah, well, a lot of uh, national banks and, and institutional banks are really still kind of looking in the rearview mirror about mm -hmm. uh, all the assets that they had to write down. Uh, so when we went out for loans on, on big projects like the Broadway Park Lofts and the Paragon Station, uh, we were a small company, small mm -hmm. boutique you know, developer. And even though we'd had tremendous success in the Broadway Park Lofts, uh, really, nobody would uh, would do loans for us, really? and so uh, it, it forced you to obviously put a lot more skin in the game, your own money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, one institution that really stepped up and um, had a lot of local pride was uh, University of Utah Credit Union. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's an institution that's very forward thinking, very nimble, uh, very quick, and um, really just has a lot of vision for what downtown Salt Lake can be. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we have a fabulous relationship. I've got um, some great um, representatives there that really have an ear for um, projects that, that don't really fit in the traditional box of lending. So for instance, Paragon Station, I can, mm -hmm. I can bring something like that to those guys and, and they, they really see the vision for it mm -hmm. and they come through. And that's the one you're working on right now that's the old warehouse? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. is that going to be done? So we have a 14-month development cycle and okay. we're 12 months into it we're going to start uh, moving people in uh, in September of 2016. Okay, so soon, save your pennies. And um, how about here at Broadway? I just got an opportunity to go look at a penthouse overlooking the whole city. It was absolutely beautiful. And I'm just curious here, Mark, with the cameras rolling, um, how we're coming with that check IOU. I mean, that's going to work, right? Because I can like just move in. Well, well, we'll have to see. There's a lot of demand over there. There, I bet. Are there any left? You know, uh, we have three left that uh, we're going to be releasing soon. And that's, you know, that's a really interesting project, the Broadway Park Lofts. Um, we spoke about it earlier, but, um, you know, like every great pop song, you have to have a hook. Mm -hmm. And every great development has to have a, a central feature that um, really gives the buyer an emotional response to the space. When we were looking at that project and trying to determine what that central feature was going to be, we had this... Um, 70 foot, 65 foot elevator shaft that really goes up the center courtyard. And we decided to put um, a waterfall mm -hmm. on, that, on that elevator shaft. It's, uh, it's the full height, you know, 65 feet tall, but the angle of repose from the top to the bottom of the waterfall is only four feet. So we were challenged with how to keep the water on the face mm -hmm. of the waterfall. And what we uh, kind of came up with and invented were these diffusers every eight feet mm -hmm. that capture that water and kind of put it back on the face. The entire um, waterfall is backlit by an LED system, and it, it's really pretty tremendous. Oh, we're, we're happy with it. That is awesome. So tell me what you are looking for for the future, not only for Clearwater Homes, but also give me, give me a little idea of your vision of downtown, where you'd like to see it go. Yeah, well, uh, we, we just love downtown Salt Lake City, and we really believe that it can be you know, fabulous uh, western mid-sized city. Again, I, I talked about public transportation earlier, and I think that that's, that's the core of, of really what's going to drive uh, downtown development. Uh, the Wasatch Front is going to have, uh, it's going to double its population by 2050. And, uh, you know, we've we got to find a place for all these people to live. Mm -hmm. And my vision is that, um, you know, contiguous to our, our public transit corridor, that we're going to continue to entitle and build high-density 
mixed use, very efficient, very green developments that provide pedestrian opportunities uh, to really circulate around the city and, and have a, uh, an amazing lifestyle. Um, moving forward, for people who are interested in contact you or moving downtown or looking at your stuff, how does it happen? So uh, uh, you can go to our website, clearwaterhomesutah.com. There's a community section there that uh, really um, details all of our for sale product in the multifamily sector in Salt Lake, as well as our um, single family division, and then our for rent division as well. Awesome. So move downtown, come downtown. It's super cool. Um, thanks again for being here. Rich and I will be right back right after this. Small Talk is made possible by University Credit Union. Local to Utah, loyal to you.